I want to welcome you to U.S. Freedom Biofuels. We're here on the assembly floor, and I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough tour of the BD-40 processor. And I'll point out some of the features that the BD-40 has. Uh, some of them are similar and, and repetitive in the BD-65 uh, and the BD-65AF. And in, in that, if that is the case, I'll make sure I point that out to you also. But again, this is the BD-40 processor, capable of doing about 250 gallons of biodiesel processing every eight hours in 40 gallon batches. So let's uh, start with, as we walk around the entire uh, processor, you'll see that it's mounted on a 80 gallon, 10 inch high containment pallet. And that containment pallet serves two purposes. One, giving you some additional height, so it makes it easy to uh, slide buckets underneath for draining off your glycerin, pulling off your water and breading in the dewatering tank and also uh, prevents uh, spilling. So if you have a little overspill, it's not going to make a mess in your floor. It keeps everything nice and neat and clean. So it is mounted directly to that containment pallet. That is part of the processor. Moving into the first tank here, this is the uh, BD-40 dewatering tank. It's an 80-gallon tank. I'm going to use a little piece of uh, PVC here to point out a couple of features. One, mm -hmm. down here in the bottom, you see we have a 4,500 watt stainless steel element, and it's uh, relatively close to this common wall. And the reason we do this is it helps become more energy efficient on the methanol flash tank and the settle tank. Right above the bottom of the tank, about an inch above, right where the pointer is here, is your pickup. That's the pickup that allows the grease to flow from this tank, after it's been dewatered, into your processor. The entire bottom of the tank is uh, concave, so it pitches towards the front here and allows for your water and breading to separate from your grease. And by having this pickup raised off the bottom of the tank, it assures that you get quality oil into your processor. All right, we're now coming around the other side of the processor, and we're on the back side of our dewatering tank. I just wanted to give you a better shot of the, uh, the pickup for your, your oil. Right here is the pickup. It's coming through this stainless braided line. I'll come down here at the bottom here so you can see that it is above the bottom of the tank. And from here, we open valve number seven. The oil flows through the pipe here and up to through the pump. We're opening valve number eight. We'll give that a quick twist. There you go, valve number eight open and your oil would then fill from the top down into the processing tank. The sight tube will tell you exactly how full it is. We want to bring our oil level up to right here, the 40 gallon mark. At the 40 gallon mark, we would shut valve number seven and we would open valve number five. It's all explained in the operation manual, very simple to follow. Based on our temperature, we want our oil to be 130 degrees before we inject it with our meth oxide. So we want to have, go ahead and, and flip our heat on if necessary. And that's right here on the control panel processor heat. Uh, because of the insulated factor of our processor and the size of our element, it may only take a couple of minutes to bring it from 110 to 130 degrees. Uh, if you're cooler than that, it may take five, 10 minutes. You have to watch your heat. You don't want to overheat it. If you get it too high, your methanol will boil when you inject your meth oxide and you won't get a good process. Now, let's go into the chemical meth oxide injection. These are our carboys that we use for our meth oxide injection. They're, uh, they're filled to the eight gallon level with, or excuse me, the four gallon level for a total of eight gallons of methanol. And then you would add the appropriate amount of potassium hydroxide based on your titration test. This is a nice sealed system. We use a, a Parker Quick Connect here so that you don't have to be in contact with the meth oxide at any time. You open this valve here, valve number six, and valve number six will then inject your meth oxide in with your circulating oil and shear it with the pump. And the benefit to that is we're injecting it in over a period of seven minutes, eight minutes period of time, which gives us a complete treatment of every gallon of oil that's in this tank because we're turning this oil over 14 times in an hour. So we've got it broken down so that when you inject it, 
you are injecting methoxide into every bit of your oil. You set your timer here on your processor for an hour and make sure your heat is off. Make sure your master timer switch is set to at least an hour and you're off and running. At that point, you don't have to be here anymore. Uh, you took about uh, 10 minutes to get to this level. You've taken your titration test, you've mixed up your methoxide, and you've injected it. That's about a 10 minute process. At this point, you can be back over here, filling up your dewatering tank again and getting ready for your next batch of fuel. Uh, while you're processing, you can have your dewatering tank switch is right here to center, your dewatering preheat tank, turn the heat on and get good water and breading separation from your, your grease before you bring in the next batch in your processor. Simultaneously, you can have another batch right here in your settle tank. The settle tank serves two purposes. It settles out the trace amounts of glycerin that are left. It also acts as a methanol flash. So we've got a 5,500 watt heating element right here. This 5,500 watt element brings your, your fuel up to a, to a nice rolling temperature, 150 degrees Fahrenheit on the outside thermometer. Let me walk around here. We've got a thermometer right here on the outside of the tank. You bring it up to 150 degrees. At 144 degrees, methanol boils. So you'll see the trace amounts of methanol flashing off of this. Most of it got pulled off in your glycerin, but we want to make sure, if we want ASTM spec fuel, that we have all the methanol out of your fuel. All right, so now we're processing. We've got uh, our methanol flash going on simultaneously. We're also dewatering the next batch. All of this happening at one time. So your processor is really doing multiple steps simultaneously. Once your process is done, once your oil timer has, uh, has kicked off, your processor pump has kicked off, let it sit in the tank for five to 10 minutes. And then you can come down here to valve number four. In valve number four, you open that valve up and you'll be able to drain your glycerin off of this valve right here. And uh, depending on how your oil titrates, you're gonna be pulling off somewhere between eight, 10, maybe as much as 12 gallons of glycerin. Now you're ready to transfer this finished process into your methanol flash tank or your settle tank. So again, it's just a, a very simple process. We're going to go ahead and, and keep this valve here open. We're going to close valve number number uh, eight. We're going to open valve number nine, and we're going to take and dump our fuel right back into here. And then we can repeat the process and bring our preheated oil that was in our dewatering tank back here back through into our processor and start the next batch. Again, at any time you can walk away at any time, you can walk away from any of these steps, the machine will simply run its course, shut itself off, either off the master timer or off the individual timer uh, for each process, and no harm, no foul. You can come back an hour later, you come back two days later, and uh, you just pick up where you left off. Now, the dry wash tower, very simple. We have our eco to -peer dry wash tower right here. It's connected with a quick connect cam lock to the bottom of our processor. There is a restrictor in the tower right down here, so you can't flow it too fast. In fact, you can open these valves wide open, and it's only going to flow at about a gallon per minute. That is it, because we've got a restrictor built into it right down here. Within the tank itself, again, a concave bottom. The purpose of that is to, again, settle out any remaining glycerin. I know it's hard to see with the light in here but uh, it does have a concave bottom. The pickup is well above the bottom of the tank, 4,500 watt element, and the, the benefit is, with this pickup where it is, there's always gonna be about eight gallons of fuel remaining in the bottom of the tank. Any contamination, any uh, glycerin trace amounts will fall to the bottom here. You're gonna be able to pull it off the bottom of your tank right here, but we never wanna pull completely off the bottom and we want to make sure we're getting good, clean fuel, glycerin-free as possible, going through our tower. It's going to extend the life of our eco up here. Trying to get down there and get you a better shot of this pickup. The pickup is about an inch off the bottom of that tank. So there you have the, uh, the U.S. Freedom Biofuels BD40, the quick walkthrough.
Hopefully that gives you a better idea of what the processor is capable of and some of the features of the processor. Again, we've got the concave bottom on your preheat dewatering tank, concave bottom on your settle tank, and everything else is, um, I think I've explained in, in great detail. If you have any questions, please give us a call at U.S. Freedom Biofuels, 847-756-7600, or visit, visit us on the web at usfreedombiofuels.com. Again, we want to thank you for joining us here at our assembly floor at U.S. Freedom Biofuels.